Victoria faced increasing pressure on its municipal water supply throughout the 1880s and 1890s. The water from Elk and Beaver Lake was often unclean, but even more troubling was that the increasing population put strain on the city's supply. This meant that many homes experienced unreliable or inadequate water pressure. Victoria's water system was designed to be gravity fed, which meant that the water moved through a pipeline from the high elevation Elk and Beaver Lake to the lower elevation city. Those residents whose water needed to travel uphill to get to their home often found themselves with poor water pressure and consequently very little water, particularly in the summertime. To increase pressure throughout the city, pumping stations were built partway between Elk and Beaver Lake and the city itself. Completed in 1900, the North Dairy Pumping Station, also called the Lake Hill Pumping Station, was one of those locations. Despite the construction of pumping stations like the one at North Dairy, the city's poor water pressure became apparent through the first decade of the 20th century. Fires raged through Victoria's streets in 1904, 1907, and again in 1910. Efforts to extinguish the 1907 fires were made more difficult due to the poor pressure and the lack of seasonal rainfall which usually supplied the city's source at Elk and Beaver Lake. These fires heightened anxieties and put into perspective the importance of addressing the city's water woes. Smith's Hill Reservoir, which was completed in 1909, represented one attempt to increase the pressure and reserve supply for city water in the wake of these fires. For the same purpose, a nearly 130-foot water tower was built in the same year in the high-elevation Rockland neighborhood by contractor Henry Kaiser. The tower was designed with the upscale nature of the neighborhood in mind. It was important that the architectural design be fashionable to sway the local support for the tower's construction. Longtime Victoria residents may remember the Rockland water tower as the candle. Between 1962 and 1987, the tower was topped with a neon sign resembling a candle flame to celebrate the city of Victoria's centenary. Victoria began to source its water from Souk Lake by 1915 and so the network of infrastructure connected to Elk and Beaver Lake was no longer needed. The building that once housed the North Dairy Pumping Station is now heritage designated and houses the Keg Steakhouse and Bar on Quadra Street in Saanich. Smith's Hill Reservoir can be seen today in the area now known as Summit Park. The fashionable water tower still stands above the Rockland neighborhood, but it is surrounded by private property, so don't get too close. Next time you're in these areas, see if you can spot them.